big data and high performance computing are behind the developments in our society in research as well as in business. Today's computer technology started in the 1950s when the transistor was invented. Since then, we have seen an exponential growth that will, however, be limited by the quantum limit, which makes a profound barrier here. We have another development which has the potential to surpass this limit and is based on the principles of quantum mechanics. This will be the quantum computer. The question is not whether quantum technology will come, but how it will surprise us and when. The magic of quantum mechanics allows us to overcome the barriers of classical physics. We can go beyond this by using a multidisciplinary approach as it is well established here at ETH Zürich. The path to surprising applications is set. In the 1920s, Erwin Schrödinger established the laws of quantum mechanics here in Zürich. Today, researchers at ETH continue on his path. Ten years ago, foundations for an NCCR network were laid. Today, more than 200 researchers in 18 groups at ETH pursue complementary fundamental approaches in quantum research. ETH is traditionally very strong in engineering. Now we are delving into a regime where things are very small. We were working with nanoscale objects, and these objects are just no longer correctly described by the laws of classical physics. So if you now want to do something with these very small objects, you obviously need to understand the laws that govern them. It is so far not clear on which platform the quantum computer will be based. Our group is working on a solid-based implementation, as are working on ions or atoms. It depends a lot on which implementation will make the race at the end, and I expect that we will have a universal quantum computer within the next 10 years. We manipulate individual atoms, we push them into each other to perform logical operations, and this is a building block for a full-scale computer. The quantum computer will not replace classical computers, but rather augment their capabilities. My field contains many groups spread across the entire world. It's important for us to be absolutely at the forefront and supported by the ultimate uh, technologies in order to remain at the leading edge of that field. We know even that um, what we encrypt today will almost certainly not be secure in 20 years. So here we rely on quantum technology if we want to have full security. ETH is probably the only institution within Switzerland which has the um, possibility to actually lead that enterprise. We already have all the expertise here in place to do that research. Quantum technology will change our world as dramatically as classical technology did 70 years ago. What we're seeing is the birth of a quantum revolution which is happening worldwide, and Switzerland should certainly be involved in that. The quantum revolution will change many aspects of our long-term industrial development. ETH students perform excellent research in this field and will transfer the innovation to dynamics with startups.